Welcome back to Bourbon Kingdom. I'm David. And I'm Zach. And today, oh, today, we get to review, a sp uh, to me, is a pretty special bottle. It's a unicorn. It is At a unicorn. At the end of the day, it's a unicorn. Now, it was not even a unicorn that we knew we wanted. At Oh no! Until, I, until we, you saw the signs, it was like, "Oh I hear, no!" I hear twenty years coming out. I hear twenty years coming in. It's like, "Ooh, oh, yes!" Oh no! I knew I wanted. This. I mean, I knew I wanted it once they said a twenty year. I was like, "Yes, please." Once I told you it was going to be a twenty. Oh, year. listen! I'll take all the um, all the information I can get. So, a couple things really quick. We talked about this in last week's video, how we kind of debated back and forth who was going to open this bottle, who wasn't going to open this bottle. Blah 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 blah. Thank the good Lord above, Mr. Kevin Tweedy himself. Oh, Tweedy. He's, he's the so old good. Tweedster. Listen, All right. Look him up on YouTube. Yeah. So that was the other thing. We were going to kind of promote his channel. Heck he yeah. had, we're going to put it in the description below. He has like, well, are we going to do that? Well, I'll end up doing it. <laughs> we'll, we'll figure out how to do it. I should be able to do that. All Kevin, have, we're going to hook you up. We'll, all you have to do is copy and paste. Don't worry, I'll take care of it, Kevin. No, <laughs> no qualms. Kevin, I'll, I'll try to help you. Out. He basically, for all my car people out there, he basically has somewhere between, like, the car off the Fast and Furious, like the fastest one off there, and then maybe the car that can break like the land speed record, like somewhere in there. And by the way, normally I'm the one that pours, but. Kevin's afraid that I'm going to give myself too much of no, his bourbon. No, no, that's not the problem. The problem is I don't trust it. when somebody gives us a bottle. I don't trust Dave Port because Dave is very generous on <laughs> pouring my bottles, so it's not a Kevin thing. But anyways, Kevin, listen, I would not take advantage of you too much. That's a lot. Uh, Just a little bit. Anyways, normally I would tell you guys go and follow. Uh, you know, go ahead and subscribe to us. Leave a comment. Yeah, for sure. Leave a like. Everything else. Today, this is the only time I'm ever going to tell you. Don't worry about our channel. Go to Kevin's. Give it a like. Give it a like. Give it a comment. Yep. Do whatever you got to do, because he has been he's being super awesome by allowing us to review this Four Roses OBSV twenty year beautiful unicorn. Mm. So cause that's it what is, it is. It is a unicorn. It, it honestly is so pretty. So I'm going to go ahead and. I mean, I need it. enough to at least. I'm going to do a Dave and do a, do a little nose smell in there. So, uh, really quick on this one, um, I don't want to say that we were given any kind of insider information from a friend of the channel because we were, um, but we were kind of given a heads up that hey, something incredibly special is coming to the new gift shop that is opening at Four Roses in early December. So we had kind of prepared and planned, and whenever I say we, I got there around, oh, I don't know, midnight? No, before then, like 11. Yeah, I think you got there at 11. So, great story really quick before we review. Basically, me and a couple other friends I was in line with, a good friend of mine, Jay, he'll watch this video and he'll, he'll understand. We were waiting in line, but we were in one parking lot. We actually got a hookup in another parking lot, I won't go into any detail because I don't want to get anybody in trouble. No, that's right, you don't And then there was another parking lot full of people. And we were told when we were allowed to walk up. And we all come walking up together. And in the middle of that, there was a meeting of the two parking lots. And needless to say, some people in parking lot that we weren't in was not happy that we showed up. So there was some, I don't want to say words exchanged, but there was a guy from Ohio that him and I had some words. Everybody else was pretty cool, except for that guy from Ohio. I won't say names. Well, so anyways, cool story. Ooh. I show up there around like 11, 12, whatever it was. And Dave, what time did you show up there? I got there at right at six. <laughs> Sounds about right. So, hey, listen, guess what? We uh, both hold got, on, we hold both on. Got a bottle. Oh, hold on. So not only did we both get a bottle, then we were both lucky enough to able to drive down to the Cox's Creek bottling distillery and yep. also grab bottles from there. Yes, we were. Now, did we go through the line 12 times like how certain people did? No. No. Are we dumb for doing that? Yes. <laughs> yeah, probably so. Did we do the right thing by not? Sure. But <laughs> anyways, great experience. It was oh a great my experience. Gosh, this nose is, is oh, I don't want to talk I don't want to talk about anything else about it. Really quick, I just will. 
This is, so there was roughly, I think there was like around 3,000 bottles of this that was out there. Yeah. I think it's what it was. Yeah. Uh, it was like, no, I it think. Was, it's like 2,100, 20. Well, there's 2,000 bottles that was released at, 20, it was like between 2,000 and 2,200, I think, at the distillery, at the new gift shop that opened. Lawrenceburg was like 600, I think, wasn't it? No, you mean Cox's Creek? Yeah, the Cox's bottle, Creek. I think it was 800, I think. But don't don't hold me to that. Whatever it was. There was a lot it, of There was a lot. It. So they were all OBSV. They, I think they were all around like 100. It was around 170, 180-ish. It was 196 with tax. There you go. 196 with tax. 196 They're with all 20-year. The proofs vary depending on the barrel. They're, this one's 115.4. They're close. All of them They're all pretty close. Yeah. So yeah. anyways, and they're all... For the people that really care about that stuff, I think this one is a tier. Yeah, this one's a tier three. I think we both have tier threes. And yeah. it's either you or me have as a tier four. Uh, one of them's different. I have a tier. It doesn't I, matter. Yeah. We have we. If you want to argue tiers, it's fine. Yeah. The point is, also well, the point is this is gonna be great. <laughs> I think this is also the oldest barrel strength release they've, they've ever released. I don't know of one, but I will say this as I'm talking and somebody could point out and be like, no, they released this one that was older, blah, blah, yeah. blah. I am not a hardcore Four Roses fan, so I do not follow every single thing of Four Roses, or do I have a lot of the older limited releases. It's not because I don't love them or like them. I do really like them and appreciate them. I just don't chase them like how other people do. Yeah. So, yeah. That was a whole lot to before we even got to one note. I think he was just doing that so we had to wait oh, to taste it. Gosh, it's so good. It's got really a... Uh... I'm going to owe Kevin so big for this. Yes, Kevin. Already, thank you. I haven't even tasted it, and I'm already really thankful. This is such a delicate, oh. beautiful nose. There's berries on there. There's, there's definitely berries on there's there. There's leather on there. There's a little yeah. smoke on there. Yeah. It's... That has a really nice caramel note. There's like, it, how should I word that? I'm just so hesitant to to taste it because I'm like, there's only this much in there, and I really, <laughs> <laughs> and it's all you're getting. I know, it's classy. That that's the word I've been looking for. It is classy. It smells it classy, is delicate, and refined, and just. I, I swear my <laughs> great reference. Uh, I swear <laughs> I'm like my mouth is watering right now just from the nose because oh, my palate right is getting so excited about this. This is incredible. right there, man. I, I took it away and brought it back up, and there like a get just got a good whiff of like caramel in there. Mm -hmm. Oh man! I don't even. I could smell this all day. Can we? Can we? Can we taste it yet, Kevin? This is a cheers to you. All right. Mm. Ooh. Wow. Yeah, that's... Holy crap. Why haven't we opened ours and drank ours sooner? I know. It's going to make me open it. Wow. That's so savory. It coats really well. Mm -hmm. It's fruity. It's thick. Yeah. Spicy. Spi that oak spice is beautiful. Yeah. That's why I was so like, you I, get that oak, you get that nice oaky, but it's like a spicy oak. I've said this a lot. I've always thought Buffalo Trace ages can, can age barrels better than anybody. But something I've always thought, and I don't think I've ever said this publicly or out loud, even. I think Four Roses does a great job too. Like honestly, like I know some people think some of their younger barrel strength offerings are better. And maybe they are, I don't know. But like, I look at some so of their LEs that have older stuff in there, and it's so good. There's a lot to that. Yes. There's a lot to that. I can't believe how well that coats. And <clears throat> there's oak there. There is, you know, you definitely get an oak note to that, but it's not overwhelming. No. It's not like a dry oak note by no means. No. It's not like your normal piece of wood. This is 20 years old, people. It's hard aging stuff that's 20 years old. There's a reason why you don't see it. It's a lot got of a long finish, too. Yeah. Yeah. And the truth be told is we've not really reviewed a whole lot of Four Roses. No, and we like it. We the just... limited edition we have. Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe we'll get around to one day doing 
yeah. something fun with we it. We got an idea. Yeah, we do have an idea. I mean, that'd be fun. Mm -hmm. Kevin, man, I, I know we've said thank you like six times in here, but this is incredible. The it's oh, man, it's there's like a really nice like trail mix like dried fruit note on there. There's a man, there's like a bakery like. I don't know if it's like a bakery sugar note or like a bakery chocolate note that I'm getting. I think it's chocolate. I honestly think it's chocolate. I think it's chocolate yeah. too. It's like whenever you walk into a nice bakery and they have pastries and donuts and brownies and cupcakes and cakes and just all that stuff, that chocolate on there. Yeah. Man, it's like a chocolate batter almost. Like it's like chocolate powder chocolate. It's something chocolate. I don't know what it is. Man. This is incredible. Yeah, it is really good. Wow. Th I'll tell you right now, this crushes that LE. At 2021 LE. It crushes it. Like, it's not even... Like, it to say they're even in, like, the same category... They're not. They're not. They're, they're not nothing... The they are nothing close to the same category. This is great. I've only heard one person who's tried it who didn't love it and didn't like it, honestly. I think her profile, and she's going to watch this video, and she's going to know exactly who she is. This didn't fit her profile. Her and I are going to have a conversation because this is freaking fantastic. <laughs> I feel like I need to try. try. <laughs> no, uh -uh. I'm, just I'm just kidding. All right. So let's have the real hard conversation. That I'm, I'm savoring this as much as I can. The finish on it is also great. I don't think I've talked about the finish. Other there, than it's a long finish, it's got, yeah. It's, there's nice fruit on the back yeah. end of it, a little citrus with that fruit. Yeah. Caramel that's on there. I'm not getting that. Did, what else did you say? Didn't you say another note on there? I don't think I'm getting that one. But regardless. No, on matter. the finish, I didn't really say. Okay. Well, that's that's kind of what I'm kind of what I'm getting from that. I feel like we, we didn't really say this, but I, it, it drink. I mean, it is 20 years old, but it drinks old. It does. So there's actually two things I want to say really quick. I, I've had some friends ask me, and, and they've talked in group chats that we're in, and they're like, they compared us to King Kentucky. And I've heard some other YouTubers. Bain and Bourbon did a great review of this, and you know he kind of talked, and he was kind of referencing King Kentucky in this. I don't think this is King Kentucky. It doesn't. The profiles are very different. I did have a friend of mine, his name's Scott. He actually uh, kind of runs 812 Bourbon on Instagram. You can check him out. They, he had, if you want to talk about some crazy awesome bottles that he gets, he gets crazy awesome bottles. He said this to me, and, and it's spot on. This is more of a profile of an M20 than a King Kentucky. And the notes of it are much more delicate and stuff like that. Yeah. That makes total and utter sense to me whenever he says that after trying it now. Yeah. Because it's... Man, it's it's impressive. It is. I am thoroughly impressed. I thought it would be really good. I didn't think it was going to be really great. Yeah. Like it, like I don't want to say I didn't think it was going to be really great. I didn't think it was going to be this great. Yeah. This is. I kid you not. We're in January at this point. I think probably when this video goes out. Yeah. At work. Yeah. In January. This is bottle of the year contention. Now, is it eligible for bottle of the year? Yeah, because this is when we try it. It's going to be... Oh, I'm okay. putting it on the list. Motivate me to It'll open be anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Motivate you to open it. Yeah, 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 yeah. But anyways, yeah. uh, now let's talk about the uh, <laughs> the awkward uh, part of the issue of this bottle, and that's the price on secondary of it. I mean, that's not awkward. It's just it is what it is. You're getting a... I mean, it's a 20-year bourbon that they're ah. never going to release again. So, at one point in time, I saw these. You know, these shot up to around, like, people were kind of trading these around Kentucky, I think, $1,400, $1,500. Yeah. And then I think they plummeted. And I say plummeted down to, like, 700 And now I think I've seen people asking two grand for them. I'm going to be honest with you. I can't not think that these will not go for more. Yeah, I cannot think that these will not trade for more over time. Yeah, and I'm not saying this to hype it up. It's just the God's honest truth. I'm not going to hype up something that I don't believe in or that I don't think is truly that great. Um, it's very much a luxury bottle that is not meant for 
everybody get their hands on. Like, yeah. that's just truth. I hate saying that. There is a ton of them out there. There's over 3,000 bottles of these, which is, which is quite a bit for a distillery. 2,999 like, and a half. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, a half. Like, there's a lot of these bottles out there in, in that sense. But I... But I don't know that they're ever going to do it again. So I don't know if they'll ever release another. I, I'm, I'm. Whenever they said a 20 year release, whenever we heard that, yeah, I was like, holy crap! Yeah. Like, am I off work? Like, the first thing I did was, am I off work? Am <laughs> I going to go? <laughs> and if I'm not off take... work, I'm going. Yeah. <laughs> so do I have to you know. take off work. <laughs> uh, but yeah, and it's, yeah. it's, it's amazing. It's. I, I don't know if it's. If that's within your your money and your price range, do whatever you need to do. If you're a Four Roses fan. God bless you if you don't have this because yeah. this is going to be incredible. I've talked to three hardcore Four Roses fans. Um, you know, I, I talked about Abandoned Bourbon earlier. He is one of those. Um, I love Four Roses. I love, it, exactly. I love it, Four Roses. Is this not the best you've ever had? Yes. Of Four Roses? Yeah. The I've heard out of the top three, and these guys who have a huge collection of Four Roses, this is either number one or number two in their collection. Yeah. And it's saying a lot. So I'm saying all of this to say if you are a four roses fan god bless you if you got one god bless you if you can get one and it's incredible and if it, you, it if really you is. see it at a bar and and you you won't you won't <laughs> but if you did if you have a friend that has one encourage them to open it <laughs> that too that would be the main thing that so too. yeah uh because i can tell you right now i'm sitting on two of them yeah, they're gonna get open. Yeah, so yeah. you know they're gonna get up for a special occasion. Yeah, it's definitely a they're special occasion, open. even more special probably than King of Kentucky because that comes out every year. Yeah, you can get one every year. Every sure. year. Now you, well, you have you to pay for get it. one, but you can. Yeah, there's opportunity. Yeah, there's opportunity. So this may be a once in our lifetime. That's true. That's true. All right, I think we've hyped up this bottle enough. Yeah, I think we're ready to get out of here. It's fantastic. Bye. Right. I, I mean, if you can find it at retail, sure. Yep. If you could, right. you can't. But yeah, you definitely you can can't anymore. If, I'll tell you right now: if you're debating about trading for one, debating about looking for one, if you have the bottles to trade for this, yeah, trade no, for it. I can do it sooner rather than later. I'm yep. saying it like that. But. Yep, for sure. All right. Well, till the next time, we'll see you. Cheers. Thanks again, Kevin.